I'm here to get some pictures of Charcoal here. This is him. He's uh, by Blackburn 950 and out of Mr. Blackburn 10, Poco Blackburn 108. He is a big boy. He's out here on summer pasture and uh, he's homozygous black. He will never sire a sorrel. But it looks like he's technically a brown. He's a little mousy around the muzzle. But nevertheless, the DNA shows that he will produce black, brown, or bay. No sorrels. This is a similar Blackburn horse of mine, raised out of Red Silver Sandy. And this is how big I believe he'll be. This this horse, this horse here is 15 hands and very stout. And I think this colt is online to be as big as that big guy there. So I'm sure he'll be 15 hands. I have two sisters to this horse out of the mare. One is a full sister and another one is out of the Poco Dakota buck. So for a yearling he looks pretty good. He's thick. He's not lanky. He's not ribby. It's really hot today. It's 90 degrees. He's got good balance, good bone in his legs, nice hip. He's got a plain head. All I can say about these these horses out of this mare is they will grow into that because I have a three-year-old and a two-year-old and a yearling and they, they, they actually end up growing up into that head. It's <coughs> plain, not cute. Like that little gorilla has got more of a cute head and little foxier ears. And, but that's out of the 946 horse this boy is. So that's the difference. The 108 horse, he was cute and foxy eared. But crossed on that mare, I got this every time. Because I got two of them in a row. Her first filly was similar to this out of a different stud. And then I finally bred 950 to the 946 horse. And I got Blackburn Crimson, who has a nice little foxy head like his half-brother here. So, of course, they're all hiding behind each other. And uh, this here is straight Blackburn here. He's nothing but Blackburn, Blackburn, Blackburn. And that's pretty Burt Blackburn there. So, there is the charcoal horse. He's not... Uh, come on, Bertie. He's all on a hill, and he looks bad, and but uh, he, he's he's gonna be a nice looking horse when he's three or four years old. He just I just know that out of that mare, he's bred in the purple. That someday he's gonna look like he should, but he's pretty. He's pretty colored. I like his color. He has no white to him, and it, it is a real. It's almost like what they call those smoky blacks, and that's what I thought I might have had, but... Flies and the bugs are bad. But he doesn't have any scars on him. Even to this day, I can see he's, he's clean. He doesn't have nothing. And uh, these other two are 946 Colts. And they are a good four inches shorter, sometimes six, because look at them. Look at their hips. So you can see that Charcoal is going to be a big boy. He's, he's going to be, I would say, 15 hands, like, like this big bay Blackburn I've got here. Their bloodlines are so closely tied together that that's how I feel he's going to look. The Grula Colt is one I kept back from last year. He's out of the 946 horse and out of Blackburn Steel Lady. He's the only one of the, my old stud bred to one of his daughters, so I'm hanging on to him. I want to see how he turns out. He is also homozygous black, but he is not homozygous done.
So this is charcoal, big stout boy. I've lowered the price. I don't want to keep all these stud colts. That's I got all these fillies from the 946 horse, and I just can't have these these young studs next year. The all these raging two-year-olds. So he's his price has been reduced because I I need to make room, serious room. <laughs> these other guys are geldings, but. And that's who they'd be with the whole time, but when they come two-year-olds and they're still studs, they start uh, finding ways to escape their corrals. You can see his legs here. He's pretty straight. He doesn't toe out. He doesn't knock kneed. He's not cow-hawked. He's none of that. He's, he's nice. A nice top line. And he looks really good for a yearling. When you look at some other yearlings, more the running blood type, they aren't going to have all that flesh on them like he does. My little Grula is more on the thinner side. He's not ribby, but he don't have no hip at all. He's The 946 horse was not known for a big hip, and this colt looks just like him. Just a basic, basic little hip. But uh, charcoal's pretty well balanced. They're all hiding back here. This is my big Bert. That's I, I, I'm pretty sure charcoal will look like that big bay. That is, he's a high, high concentration of uh, pretty buck as well. This big bay, and he looks like a pretty buck horse. And I believe that's what charcoal's going to look like. Just based, I've had this horse since he was a baby as well, and many of his siblings, and many of his sisters, and just based on that, I'm pretty sure Charcoal's going to have some size to him like that. They're just trying to fight off the flies the best they can. Cockleburrs, and ticks, and this is North Dakota. <laughs> But this is their big pasture. They've they've got a half mile deep pasture that they ride, roam in here, and they got to cross water several times. There's a creek, and so they're raised out here. I call this the bachelor pad pasture. You guys want to step out from each other? Hmm? Big birdie bird. Hi, big boy. Hmm? You gonna walk away from me? This is Doc. He's my... the Doc Bar horse. This little red dun here is uh, out of a Mr. Illuminator daughter. I wouldn't have given you a nickel for that horse six months ago, but he's really coming around. He looks good. Never crossed my Blackburns on an uh, Illuminator bloodline. And um, I honestly did not like it at first, but he, he's come around. Come on, Steel, get out of the way. Oh. You look at the size of his leg next to those other two, you can see he's got bugs up my face. He's got a lot more bone to him and he's he's just just black all the way from head to toe. There's no white hair on him anywhere. Well, I'm going to drive over to the other pasture, see if I can get some pictures of his mama and his baby brother. Again, he's standing next to a 946 horse, Colt. And uh, he's way bigger. And he's an April Colt. And so is that Sorrel. I read done there. So he, he just has uh, been big from day one. Day one, he's just been big, big boy. So he never had that cute baby stage. He was just always big. Like this big guy. Bert.
Bert, can you look at me, Bertie? Bert, 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 Bert. He's nice and deep in the girth, and he's got a wither already. He's got a decent hip. Nice straight legs. Everything's great, but he's got a plain head. That's that's the only thing I can fault him for is his plain head. Can't be any worse than the big bay's head. That's that's kind of the head I get once in a while. I don't know where it comes from, somewhere back in their pedigree and I think uh like I he'll look just like this big guy, so he'll grow into that. What you doing? I know you want to be friendly. You come right up to me. I just seen testicles, so they're down. If someone wanted to keep him as a prospect, he definitely has them. Cross him on a bunch of dun mares, I think uh, you'd have a, especially even, you could have sorrel red dun mares, and you don't have to pay as much for those red dun mares. And cross them on him, you're not going to get any sorrels. You're just going to get probably dun or grula or bay, black or brown, but you've eliminated the sorrel situation, which people seem to discount. It's kind of like gray calves. <laughs> With Charlotte, Black Angus Cross that are gray, and you get a gray one, no, they don't pay anything for them. They're bred the same, look the same, they're just gray. Well, there he is. Mr. Blackburn Charcoal. Well, not Mr. Just Blackburn Charcoal.